On the previous lesson, we learned how to use the DB static class to uh, insert um, a record on the database given the form that we had here on the on the web UI. So uh, on this uh, tutorial today, we are going to learn how to do the same thing, but using Eloquent. So Eloquent, it's actually um, an ORM uh, that comes with the, uh, uh, directly packed on the Laravel, and it Basically, it's a simple Active Record implementation for working with your database. So, in case you are not familiar with Active Record patterns, um, you can search on on Google, of course. But I can get, just give you a small uh, hint on this. So, basically, each table that you have on your database is going to be an object that we create here, and with that object that we create, with that class that then transforms into an object, we can iterate with the database. We can insert new records, we can delete records using methods from the eloquent uh, class that are available to you. So we are going to do this uh, by creating um, a new model, a new model that we work with this table that we that we have created here. So uh, there are some naming conventions that you can use uh, on this case for the um, for the way um, uh, Eloquent works by default. I'm going to explain to you a bit in detail. But then, of course, everything is customizable and, and you can change that later on in case you have some, um, some exceptions on your web, uh, web application. So given this, uh, how do we create actually a model? So in this case, we have a table here called contact us, right? And... Um, we do have, uh, in this case, uh, to create the first model and then interact on that model to insert the data. So I'm just going to do a small change here so you can see the naming convention. I'm going to replace this name. Uh, I'm going to change the table name, so alter table. I'm going to put just a name called contacts. And I will see this after. So I'm going to apply. And I'm going to do finish. And now we go. So now we, we call it contact. So by default, you should create the plural of the entity that you want to insert. So for instance, I want to insert a new contact. So my table is lowercase contacts. It's on the plural. So Laravel will pay attention to this by using the default naming convention when you are using Eloquent. So the, the table names needs to be in the plural naming that you have for your entity. So for instance, contacts, users, as comes by default. And then the Eloquent class that we will create, it's the singular name, or in this case, the the studly case for the singular name that I'm going just to show to you very, very briefly. So here we go. So we go to our demo here and we do the artisan command make model. And then in this case, uh, I want to call, I, I call it contacts, right? So now I'm going to create the model called contact. If you do a help here, you'll see that you have more parameters that you can actually use. Like you can create a new controller automatically, create a factory that we'll see on the, on the next lessons. What does this mean? Uh, you can even create the migration file that you already learned before. So Laravel, along the versions that that had, um, along the versions that that is having, this kind of uh, artisan options are being implemented and are being upgraded to have more um, functionalities that will help you to create the scaffoldings directly without having to do one by one. So in this case, make model contacts. Uh, I'm not going to create a migration file. No, no need for that because we already have made on another lesson. So I'm just going to press enter. And as you can see here on the left, uh, Laravel places the, the models directly on the app um, folder here on the namespace. So you have the user that is by default, the one that comes with Laravel framework. And then there is the contact here that I just created. And as you can see, it writes class contact extends model. So this is ready to use. And we are going to do some, some, just some examples here so you can see what does it mean. So we have, Laravel understands that we have a table called contacts because uh, we are not saying anything else here in terms of the, the, any type of attributes that we need to put here to customize our model for now. Okay. So this is a simple example that we're going to do here later on. Um, there will be a series specifically for Eloquent that I will create, but for now, let's just do it the simple way. So in case you don't know, each time you see these two slashes here, um, uh, Taylor places this to mean that means that you can write something here, okay? So each time you see this, it means please uh, then add your code here 
and write it down. So in this case, let's let's not do anything here. So okay, so I'm just going to to put these on, and then we'll see little by little what's going on to happen. We'll see some errors on the screen, and that's the way I can tell you what's going on and how the the eloquent interaction works on. So let's go back to our example here, and let's then um, just um, put this comment here, and I'm going just to add here the contact. Okay. And the way we create something, a new model, we use the create. So if I now go here and I say something, I'm just doing F5 here to add the import about contact. So as you can see here, I already imported the namespace class app backslash contact. And here I'm just going to do a create. So create is to insert a new model. It's basically insert on your table, okay? Laravel does everything on the back, on the backstage, like uh, understanding what is the table, checking your fields, transforming them, making sure that there is no SQL injection on them, okay? So the, all of that you don't need to worry about. You just need to follow the, the, the guidelines of the Eloquent and Laravel, just everything, the beautiful part behind it and, and it works pretty fine. So in this case, I'm just going to copy paste all of this part uh, and putting here, And let's see what happens now when we go to our contact form. So I'm going to write here, I don't know, uh, John Smith again, John Smith at live.com sales. And this is my notes. We are going to see an error. Uh, actually, it, the, page, the page even expired because I was not using it for a while. So wait, it's the create. So I'm going to do it again, John Smith john.smith at live.com tests and then send information there you go so there is a kind of a name here for the mass assignment exception there is a mass assignment exception and this means that i am trying to mass assign mass assign means i'm trying to create a new model by using an array of information this might be a bit dangerous in case for instance you are passing uh, all the fields that we have on your request instead of going one by one here uh, because as you can know you can you can generate this automatically um, using the request all so if I do for instance a, a request uh, all uh, it, it produces the same effect so if you have a field that you don't want or if there is someone that injects the field to be malicious uh, on a mass assignment like it's called here, it can be dangerous. So what Laravel does it, unless you force it here on your class, uh, in this case, you can pass a protected uh, fillable and then you pass the array with the fields that you want to be possible to field in, just like this. So you put name, email, reason, notes. So that's, let's see that. Uh, that example so reason and notes so in this case uh, I'm I'm telling on my eloquent model please allow these fields to be fillable okay you can have more fields and you can have those fields not fillable so if Laravel sees that I'm putting all the fields that are here all the keys are inside these fillable keys here uh, values sorry um, it, it, it allows you to, to to put it up so for instance I'm going to do it again and that things for your content will get back soon so it just inserted because uh, when I go here now and I say select all from users uh, users no sorry from contacts you see that this John Smith was inserted just right now okay so as you can see here, it, a lot of it even detects that you have the timestamps and it created app and updated that and it immediately adds them for you. See, there is nothing here that I mentioned and Laravel does that for you. So now, for instance, what happens if you have a lot of dynamic fields like you, you know, you had fields, you take fields off, you are creating your project, you don't want to come here and always have this error. So Laravel has another attribute called guarded. So when you put the guard, it means that it's the contrary of the fillable. You cannot use them on the fillable at all. And in this case, uh, if you pass an empty array, then you're saying that all the fields that you have are actually fillable. 
because you are overriding this per permission that um, you are it's the contrary on the fillable one here so if you put protected guarded normally on my web projects i always do these i do a protected guarded and then i do all the project with the fillables that I, with the keys and values that i want to put on and later on when you have your this feature stabilized for this model then you can have a, you can transform that into the the fillable ones that you want to use there okay so laravel also have more so how another question that you can do is okay so if you have to create like this what is the way without having problems with the fillable on this case so you can do a normal approach to uh let's say i'm going to take them both that is you force to put the attributes so you put like contact let's see this this way well a new contact and now you really go one by one so name equals to then you got the picture right so if you go this way and then at the end you do contact save and if you do this this way so here i'm going to put email and reason and notes there is no issues with the fillable because you are actually defining what are the attributes of your table the columns that you really want to fill in so I'm going just to uh, comment this part and I'm going again to run it so you can see it so I'm going to put your Peter Northen and Peter at live.com from tech okay okay I go to send information and it's saved if you go to the database uh, order by id desk on the top the first one limit one uh, you see that i have the peter northern there in placed on so if you if you do specify your fields here then there is no issues at all it works pretty fine so this is the minimum that you need to understand about the eloquent of course then you have the update you have much more things to do on the eloquent that you can work on you can specify if you have another table name you can even specify relationships between tables and that's something that comes for another lesson not for now because it's still too early but just to explain to you that using eloquent like this it's very pretty straightforward again let's just catch up what we did here we use the artisan commands uh, make model and then we specify the singular studly case for your um, for your table for your class on this case that is connected to the table laravel by default places here on the app namespace the contact class and from there on you can use it directly uh, by on this example by inserting directly via the fillable by a mass assignment or using it manually uh, field by field and here on the on the class we already saw two protected attributes that are very useful the fillable and the guarded and a small hint in case you don't want to specify all the fillable there you just use the protected guarded and it will work fine so i hope you enjoyed this lesson about eloquent it was very simple believe me this was just maybe one percent of what you can do on eloquent uh, but i'm sure it gives you a bit of a of a sense about what comes for the future thank you very much Bye bye